That high-speed chase ended up here on Terry Avenue, crashing into this parked truck behind me. The owner says the truck carries a lot of sentimental value, and while he knows his situation could have ended up much worse, it's a frustrating reality that makes him feel helpless. It's a sound many of us have gotten used to in Billings in recent weeks. Yeah, I was uh, getting ready to go to bed and just hear a bunch of sirens. But for Donnie Kaiser, those sirens Saturday were followed by a less familiar sound and one he won't soon forget. A couple seconds later, I just hear a huge crash. Sounds like an aluminum can just being crushed. That sound wasn't a can. Instead, it was his 1985 Chevy Scottsdale being slammed into by a stolen vehicle. The truck was handed down to him when his uncle passed away. Ever since I was little, I always remember him driving it. Yeah, so uh, I've been, you know, trying to keep it nice ever since. And, you know, stuff like this happens. That helpless feeling is one Kaiser is familiar with. This was all caved in before. That's His truck was also hit by another <laughs> stolen vehicle a few years ago. Kaiser had to fix the truck himself that time because he says his insurance wouldn't cover the damages and he fears it's about to happen again. It is a helpless feeling. It's happened before and you know insurance is like eh, well there's nothing we can do about it. The liability follows the vehicle that's involved in the accident and it's unfortunate because this vehicle was stolen. State Farm Insurance agent Kerry Jones says incidents like this can be tricky and this case, the suspect, 18-year-old Ashton Glenn, is responsible for the damages. However, if he's not insured, responsibility then falls to the owner of the stolen vehicle. And at the end of the day, even if Kaiser wins a claim, he likely won't receive a big check because of the age of the truck. Of course, there's sentimental value attached to it, and there's no way to replace that. But they're going to look at it like a truck that was damaged in an accident. Kaiser is aware of the headaches that lie ahead. This is going to take a lot of work putting it back together. Still, he doesn't plan on letting this truck go. But mostly, he's worried about the victim of the shooting. You got people coming into his yard, his property, and stealing his property and shooting him in the process. Like I said, this is nothing compared to that. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.